Welcome to Out of Order, I'm Marcus. This should be called In Order because this is a new pinball game. I've never unboxed a brand new pinball game, let alone one that's this cool. So here we go. We're gonna dive in and get crazy rocket. Alright, so on top, we've got four legs, brand new, pretty rad, and we got a, looks like we got some leg levelers, so I'm going to have to assemble that, and oh, this is pretty hilarious, there's the plunger <laughs> for the, the game, this is the plunger sticking up, that's pretty awesome. So right here, this uh, line that you can cut, that's the only area on the box that you're able to cut. And then up here, you can actually see the front of the cabinet, which is pretty cool. Some cactuses over here. Not in this lifetime. Guns and Roses. Pretty awesome. Uh, this one strap that's holding it together, you don't want to cut, because that's holding the back box on. So we're not going to cut that. If your ceiling is tall enough, you can just take it straight up. It's like they have a white. Alright, so the bolt. Right here, so we're gonna put the front legs on. Look at that nice subwoofer. Sweet. So I've got some corner protectors that I can put on the game, but this game actually came with corner protectors. So instead, I'm gonna put these drink holders on, which every game will have probably at least two. They snap in and then you want to secure it. I learned the hard way to just use one screw. Let us go put them on the machine. Fill the front leg. So this gap right here is really what a corner protector does. It just keeps the leg from crushing into the side. So this one's shipped with them, but I usually have these plastic ones I'm gonna be putting on every pinball game. Okay, there's one cup holder. So we have it propped down. Sweet side art. And my pinball cart's kind of just gonna help lift it up for us here. Then put the back legs on. It's a heavy game. It, it created it's about 375 pounds. So. So in the artwork, I thought this artwork was just completely bitchin'. It's all like rat fink style. Love it. But this is a cheaper Guns N' Roses model. I've had this thing 
I'm trying to remember when I got this delivered, but technically I was the first one on the West Coast. But of course I didn't open it up until now, which is September. Make sure these legs are pretty tight. Not insane, but this game is so heavy, you just don't want it to get all geared on the cabinet. games have this. It's kind of classic, a little bit vintage, but this is basically your lock. You can see it come up and it'll latch around that piece, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to tip the back box up, which I always am very careful because there is glass in here and you never really know if it's like totally secure. Oh my god, this is heavy. Jesus Christ. Holy shit, it's heavy. All right, let's check out the play field. Oh, this part's under there. Okay, there we go. Holy shit, there's all the crap. Oh, I don't know where the keys are. <laughs> um. This is not a handle, do not, yeah. But that's what it was all, that's all it was poking up through there, so. All right, keys. to call pinball playfield glass creep. You're really gonna look out for that because it will slowly but surely slide right out of the table and smash onto the ground. Kind of making that up but it looks true. Yeah okay, I don't know what to do with this thing. Put on Iron Maiden for now. This is getting pretty serious over here. I don't know if you're gonna have room to pull this all out. So we won't pull it out to about here. And you grab this giant piece of foam. Get off of the dude's head, man. You really need to pack it in there so much. Just rip. You okay? Everybody all right? Slash, you okay? Slash? Holy security measures. Thank you. 
get in your home. It's too good for your home? <laughs> Jesus. Had to remove a little metal plate here. This is where your power plug goes. So, just gonna go ahead and push that in there. And it kind of just drapes under the power. So what we're gonna do now is put that plate back on. See that? Nice and flush. Return the shock hazard warning. Who doesn't love the words shock hazard? One ball. Wiping the oil off. Two ball. Three ball. Four ball. Five ball. Six ball. Ah, 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 ah. One thing too is you'll notice Guns N' Roses User Illusion 1, so every game comes with a different record. It's kind of cool. So this one is uh, User Illusion 1. Uh, I would be disappointed if I got the spaghetti incident. Lies would be also kind of not really that exciting to me. I, I, I'm down with User Illusion 1 and 2, and of course Appetite for Destruction. One dollar to play. Free play. Well, that's not gonna fly. <laughs> and then what is this? All right, here's the first boot up. Got to take it out of uh, censored mode right away. I also need to upgrade the uh, game code. nice about Jersey Jack is they're all color changing LEDs which is just a super super cool thing the first game hopefully we don't get too crazy Got you on November Rain. Oh yeah. Look at Axel playing the little tinkling ivories. You're in the show. <laughs> it's like the lights are going with the song. It's pretty crazy. Thank you. 
Six ball, multi ball. Only six? Yeah. <laughs> tilt warning. You got a tilt warning. What? I didn't even do anything. Better take it easy. Check that out. It takes pictures of you while you're playing, which is hilarious. And then when you actually uh, choose it, let's see, you'll get a picture of Slash. Look at that. Oh yeah, dude. Pretty cool. So it's, a, it's pretty insane, just as far as a light show goes. It's uh, very impressive. But yeah, I don't know, I might do another video on it, but I thought I'd just uh, show you guys what it looks like to unbox a brand new game. The only thing that I had an issue with was this plastic stage on the back, and it was a little bit wonky, so it had to be adjusted. Uh, this switch right here on the shooter lane was like kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, everything else is pretty rad, and this looks really impressive. The color changers are just really nice. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you liked the video, leave a like. Thanks for subscribing. Till next time, you know what to do. You're gonna keep that shit retro by rocking User Illusion 1 and 2. Later on.